Hi, how are you all doing? I'm going to talk about the last watch I have bought, the Laurier Neptune version 3. In the last years I have ended up collecting a lot of divers. Divers are one of my favorite watches, this is quite obvious from, from what you see. And the first time I saw the Neptune online, I really liked it. Actually, I wanted it. It looks similar to the blank paint Batiska, but with it, its own design language. It was original, symmetric, which I, li I really liked from, from watches. But the problem was that I had to buy it from the US and I have had some bad experiences with custom, uh, with the customs delays in Spain, so I decided to forget the idea. But like everything in this world, things change. And after a very bad experience with a brand owner, I sold a couple of watches. And one of the one of the buyers, he told me again about uh, uh, about Laurier. So I started to look again uh, this watch that was in my in my mind since I found the Baltic uh, Aquascaf. So my main concern was about the acrylic crystal. So I had many doubts. They, they looked very similar. Uh, one was to be bought from the EU, which was easier for me, although more expensive. And the other one was uh, a more affordable price, but I had to buy it from the US. So I started to think about it. And after a while, I decided that I liked the design of the Laurier more. And so I got to buy it from, from, from the web page. And in short, the buying experience was truly awesome. It was very simple to do, very fast, very comprehensive. Everything was great. The shipping cost was reasonable and, and extremely fast. In less than a week, I had the, the watch uh, with me. I have to give a shout out to, to FedEx. They were very professional. I had to pay the custom fees directly to them. So they manage all the paperwork and much faster than I ever thought I, I got the watch with me. So it was a truly a great buying experience. So this is the guild version of the Neptune Series 3. And here is the watch. As you can see, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, you can read the specs in the um, web page. I will leave a link below. It's a 39 mm diameter watch with a big crown, solid case back. The height is about, well, not about, it's 12.7 millimeters, but 2.4 millimeters is of the dome crystal. The lag to lag distance is a very reasonable 47 millimeters. The lag width is 20 millimeters. It has drill lags, which I love. And on technical specifications, it has a Miyota 90S5 with no date position. So a true no date movement. The Miyota movement is running very accurate in this unit. It's gaining around 1.8 seconds a day. Although you can feel sometimes the wobble, it's kind of funny for me and it doesn't bother a bit. Most of the time it's very silent. 200 meters of water resistance, which means you can dive with it. Screw down crown, of course. 120 clicks aluminum uh, insert bezel. The loom is BGW9, which gives a bluish color. It has solid end links and, as I said, drill links. And believe me, the end links fit perfectly. But the real interesting part of this watch is how does it feel like to have one? And the truth is that the watch really feels awesome. It has the right size and the feeling of a vintage watch. Like someone said in a video that I saw a few days ago, it's like finding a new old stock diver. While it pays tribute to some of the most iconic watches, Laurier has its own recognizable design language that is uh, consistent across the watches they are selling. And now let's address the elephant in the room, which is the acrylic crystal of this watch. 
Truth be told, I was very hesitant about this. When considering the watch, the acrylic crystal was something that I wasn't really convinced about. But after having the watch with this uh, configuration for a few weeks, I think it is totally amazing. The way it looks, the way it feels, it is so warm, so nice to look at, so little reflection with the distortion it brings to the dial. It's totally amazing. If Also, if you like photography like I do and taking pictures of, of your watches, uh, this is an amazing experience. So it is totally great. It's true, it's gonna, it's going to scratch easily, more easily. You will be able to polish most of it. But uh, the experience when you look at the dial is totally, totally amazing. You might like it, you might not like it. I personally love it. And it's great to have a vintage inspired watch with this configuration being able to use it on a daily basis. I have some vintage watches that I have to really to take care of. Um, like the Sea Hunter that I have, but this one is is totally great, and I recommend people to try at least maybe to borrow one and to check it. It's it's a great experience. Of course, if you don't want to buy an acrylic crystal watch, there are plenty of other options with sapphire. Like for instance, the Baltic Aquascaf I talked to you about which is a similar design, it really looks nice, uh, really vintage inspired and with the durability of the sapphire crystal. So there are many options out there, uh, go and check them out. So now let me summarize a little bit of the positives that I see in this watch. The first being the amazing design that pays tribute to some of the most iconic watches of all times, uh, including one of my favorites like the blank pane uh, batiscaf. The bracelet is very nice, uh, vintage inspired also. It has sharp edges, I will comment that in the negatives, but it has a very good clasp, it plays amazingly well with, with the light, so great to make pictures. This bracelet tapers from 20 mm to 16 mm around the clasp. The clasp has only three micro adjustments, but I didn't have any issue adjusting it to the size of my wrist. Also, please notice this bracelet doesn't have diverse extension. The size is, I think it's great, it's the sweet spot. It's 39 millimeters, what can I say? 39, 40, 41, which are perfect sizes for, for divers. Remember, vintage divers used to be smaller than this. For instance, the Sea Hunter, the Caravelle Sea Hunter I have is 36.5 millimeters wide. So, as I said, it looks like old new stock. Like if you found something you were looking for for a long time at a very reasonable price. With this color scheme, also, it, it looks great with almost any strap you can think of. You can swap a leather strap, the bracelet, natos, and so on. And it has drill lock, so you can do that very easily. It is very versatile because of this vintage vibe. This means you can use it for almost anything. It's very elegant, so you can use it in a more formal environment. But also you can take it to the, to the beach, to the pool, to any place. It will look great in almost any situation. So one of the positives that I mentioned was that if you like to make pictures, this is, this is one of the best options that I can think of right now from at least from the little experience that I have to, to make pictures. This is a great watch to, to take pictures, especially, especially because of this uh, acrylic crystal I talked to you about. It's rather thin and very comfortable, so you do almost forget that you're wearing it, even despite the, the, this big crown. The bezel has a great action, very smooth, very easy to set, uh, no play, well aligned, so basically a very good vessel. And of course the price, I think it's a very reasonable price even if you have to pay customs, $500 which turns to be in Spain for instance around 500 euros after you pay customs, I think it's, it's quite reasonable for, for what it offers. Now for the negatives. 
I, and I mean, it's very hard to find negatives in this watch, so I'm going to be very nitpicking. Nothing is a deal breaker at all, no, at least in my opinion. So the Loom is okay. Uh, of course, it's not as great as the Lumos of applied markers or watches like, like Seiko's. So it lasts all the night, it's reasonable, but it's not very bright when, when you give it uh, a little bit of flashlight in, in the night. But it's perfectly fine and okay, so only not as impressive as uh, Seiko Loom. Now, this one is funny. I, I didn't notice in the pictures, but the borders of the end link don't match exactly the shape of the lugs. It's not a big deal by any means, or so I'm nitpicking. And I don't wear the watch in, with the bracelet a lot. I tend to change straps all the time, so... But it's something that I notice and I, and I have to tell. Also, the inner borders of the bracelet, in my opinion, they're a bit too sharp. It's not that, that it is going to hurt you, but you, if you touch it with your fingers, you will notice that it is really sharp. It's a, a very sharp edge. And of course, the acrylic crystal will get scratched if you are not very careful. Uh, you will be able to polish it out most of the times, unless it's very deep uh, scratch, but it's something to, to notice. So in conclusion, and I'm going to sound repetitive, I'm sorry about that. If you like the class and the charm of vintage watches, if you dream of finding an affordable new old stock from your favorite watch, if it looks similar to this, but you know you will never find such thing, this is surely one of the best possible alternatives. You will fall in love with this watch the more you wear it. As days goes by, your attachment to the watch will grow, I'm sure about that. And if not, you always can sell it, of course. So, one thing to notice is, if you plan to use it as a beater, you might probably try other watches with uh, maybe a different type of, of crystal. So, in general, I would really recommend this watch. I'm loving it, I'm going to keep it, and I hope to buy from Laurier again, maybe the GMT. Thank you very much for taking your time to see this video. See you soon.